My name is Eric Downer. I'm an assistant professor here in Trinity College, and I'm the director of the BSc in Human Health and Disease. So over the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to give you an overview of the BSc in Human Health and Disease program. So I thought I would start with some feedback from our students and our graduates. This is a relatively new program in Trinity College. It was launched, launched in 2009. And as you can see, student feedback indicates a high quality course, an excellent degree program in, in applied biomedical sciences, a wide range of topics, lab work was incredibly relevant to the aims of the degree, interactive tutorials, and a program which prepares thoroughly for a career in research. And that is really key. That is what this BSc program is really geared towards developing research careers in our students in biomedicine. Now, in terms of the structure of the program, the program is housed here and managed within the discipline of physiology, which is housed between the School of Medicine and the School of Biochemistry and Immunology for this degree program. We're managed here in the discipline of physiology, which is located in Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute, where I, might, I am located now on the second floor of this building. Now, in terms of the structure of the Human Health and Disease Program, the course is coordinated and run by research scientists like myself. So here we can see my colleagues who are all research scientists here in Trinity College working on different diseases uh, in the human body. For example, the first year coordinator, Junior Fresh, is my colleague, Dr. Sarah Doyle. Dr. Dominic Trapel is a senior fresh second year coordinator. Dr. Basman, Bama Nazar Islami is a junior sophister third year coordinator. And Dr. Fletcher is a senior sophister final year coordinator. So we are all research scientists that run this degree program. For example, Dr. Doyle, the first year coordinator, runs a, a research program on innate immunity and retinal disorders. My colleague here, Dr. Fletcher, is a senior sophister, final year coordinator. Her lab works on um, uh, immunology, inflammation, autoimmunity. Dr. Nazar al Islami, my colleague who runs the third year of the program, his research program is in motor neuron disease. Dr. Dominic Trapel is a health economist, and his research areas are in dementia, age related healthcare. And my research lab here in Trinity work on neuroinflammation particularly associated with multiple sclerosis and developing novel therapeutics in that area. So the degree is organized and coordinated by research scientists here in Trinity. So the BSc is housed between two schools, as I mentioned, the School of Biochemistry and Immunology and the School of Medicine. And naturally, this is a four year BSc program looking at the human body in normal physiolog physiology in normal healthy conditions and when things go wrong in disorders and diseases of the human body. So we're looking at cancer, immunology, neuroscience and psychiatry, genetics and global health. And what we're doing, we're building an understanding in students of the human body at different levels of complexity. And that is from cells, tissues, organs and the systems level of understanding. So students can integrate their knowledge in terms of normal, healthy physiology and in the disease processes and understanding those processes at this level of complexity. So the overall program goals are to integrate key biological principles. So that is in terms of the structure and function of the human body. So naturally focused on the human state, relate to signs and symptoms of disease the fundamental alterations in body function. And what I mean by that is that building that level of understanding at, at molecular, cellular, tissue, organ, and systems level of understanding. To understand strategies for the treatment and prevention of disease. So be it the latest pharmacology, the latest therapeutics that are being developed in different disorders in the human body, or novel interventions such as exercise, such as nutritional changes. Appraise scientific data, and that's really important. So in terms of this degree program, we're developing students' understanding in terms of how you hypothesize research, to collate research data, how you analyze that research data, how you publish that into the research community, 
into the public domain, but also the, the commercialization of research and the ethics behind research. To design, conduct and analyze research in the field of applied biomedical sciences. So really important, all students in the Human Health and Disease Program in their final year conduct a 12 week research project in the area of biomedicine based in a lab here in Trinity or its affiliated hospitals. They spend that time working full time on a research project. They write it up as a research thesis and present it to the faculty. Now in terms of the learning format, we naturally, our students naturally undertake large lectures, but also smaller group tutorials. So in terms of the class size, we have approximately 130 students currently in the program. So between 30 and 35 students in each year. So we get to know our students interacting with them consistently in terms of our small group teaching and our tutorial format. Learning format is also through pr practical content. Students will undertake anatomy practicals, physiology practicals, but also practicals in biochemistry um, and immunology, for example. Now, students within our program do have access to novel teaching innovations, which we have developed here in-house within the program. For example, myself and my colleagues have developed novel teaching tools, teaching and learning tools to enhance student learning. To show you two examples of these, one is in uh, human embryology animation tools, which are accessible to our students in human health and disease to enhance their learning, and an app for immunology to help students understand this complex topic. So these are in-house innovations to enhance our student learning in the BSc in human health and disease. So where teaching takes place? So teaching takes place across campus. As I said earlier, the program is housed here in the discipline of physiology and level two of the Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute. So teaching will take place in this location. The teaching will also take place across campus, for example, here in the Trinity College Institute of Neuroscience, in Goldsmith Hall, for example, but also in the Institute of Molecular Medicine, which is in James's Hospital. So particularly in third year, our students will travel there to the hospital to receive content from clinicians. Assessment is, is via practical content for anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, immunology, and important presentations. And this is really at the backbone of human health and disease. This is a skill set that's, that we develop in our students. For first year, students are standing in front of their classmates presenting research topics in physiology or medicine. We believe this is a really strong skill set that's applicable to various career avenues. Writing skills, we develop students' writing skills, but are also naturally assessed through essays and uh, lab reports and formal semesterized examinations now in Trinity College. Human Health and Disease um, is partnered with two schools, the School of Medicine, the School of Biochemistry and Immunology, but also with Chemistry, Maths, the Biology Teaching Centre, Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, for example. Now this reflects the real multidisciplinary nature of human health and disease and the study of biomedicine. So students in our, in our program receive content from experts, lecturers in various different disciplines. And I give you a list here of some of these um, lecturers' backgrounds and expertise. So you can see from pharmacy and nursing to anatomy, pharmacology, physiotherapy, physiology, biochemistry, immunology, clinical medicine. This, this list is by no, mean, it, no means exhaustive, but reflects the real multidisciplinary nature of the degree program as students will be exposed to vast expertise here in Trinity College. Now, this is a snapshot of the entire degree program through years one, two, three, and four. And what we can see here are, th are three major components from basic human biology, applied biomedical sciences, and core competency transferable skills. Firstly, for basic human biology, here we can see in first year, students will undertake chemistry for biologists, maths and biology, human embryology, human tissue types, and genetics. In second year, students undertake large modules actually in anatomy and physiology, microbiology, metabolism, cell structure. In third year, 
neuropsychiatric conditions, immunology, gene regulation, signal transduction. And in their final year, cancer, novel techniques in cell physiology, integrated pathophysiology, neuroimmunology, physiological measurements, and population health. Here we see the applied biomedical sciences content in nutrition, exercise, pharmacology, for example. But lastly, I want to point out this important component of human health and disease. These are a suite of modules we have developed to, to enhance the transferable skills of our students. These are there to develop the lateral, lateral, lateral and critical thinking skills of our students, to develop their ability to critique and their writing and presentation skills. So for example, in first year, they're presenting novel topics in physiology or medicine. In the second year, they're critiquing and breaking down novel research papers. In third year, they're writing research grants in terms of how you fund uh, research in biomedicine. So the basic biomedical sciences that are studied, which I've been covering, range from embryology to anatomy and physiology microbiology and immunology and, and human tissue types and genetics and applied biomedical sciences for example in terms of diagnostics and therapeutics physiological measurements now in this slide i'm showing you the cover of research journals so this is the currency of biomedical research this is where research scientists publish the latest data and findings and the understanding of, of disease processes and their understanding of novel therapeutics. So as students move through the program, more and more we incorporate cutting edge research findings and, and uh, complete research led teaching. So students are brought up to date with the latest uh, therapeutics and the latest mechanisms that are underlying different diseases in the human body. And this is all leading towards this. It's all leading to the research project. So in the final year, all students complete a 12-week full-time research project working in a disease process that they're interested in in a lab here in Trinity College. They write a literature review and thesis on this and they present it to their faculty. So they get a real flavor of what it's like to be a researcher in biomedicine. Our current senior software fourth-year students have just, just received their research project. And here you can see a range of topics that they have selected from. So students are going to be working in different topics such as Alzheimer's disease, cancer, stroke, schizophrenia, MS, arthritis, seizure disorders, and cystic fibrosis, liver disease as an example. I'll show you success stories from these. Um, some of our students have gone on to actually publish their research finding in peer-reviewed peer journals and in this case the Irish Journal of Medical Sciences. This is from an undergraduate, undergraduate project conducting their final year project in fourth year. And students within the Human Health and Disease Program have obtained research studentships and scholarships from national funders within, within Ireland, such as the Irish Research Council, the Health Research Board and Science Foundation Ireland, which has assisted them in developing their research uh, projects and their research careers. To finish up in the last few slides, I want to outline what some of our graduates go on to do. So as I mentioned, human health and disease commenced in, in 2009. And as of this year, we'll have just over 190 graduates from the program. And here I've summarized just some of the career options that they've gone into. A proportion of our students do go into, onto graduate medicine. A proportion of students conduct further study and research in MSCs, for example, in clinical nutrition and dietetics, biotechnology and business. Students are now undertaking also PhDs at the bottom here in, um, in research, in immunometabolism, microbiology, immunology and neurology. And a cohort of our students go into the pharmaceutical sector as well, conducting research, for example, in Janssen Pharma, Pharma Janssen Pharmaceuticals. Down the left hand side here, you see a selection of, of other career avenues that students have gone into. For example, in regulatory and HICWA, pharmacovigilance, um, Accenture, for example. 
Now, we're really keen to develop a network in our human health and disease program. So all students within the program, we connect with our graduates. And each year, we invite our graduates back to talk to our current um, cohort of students. And here's an example of this, where some eight to 10 graduates of the program from different sectors, from, from medicine to research to pharma, come back and talk to our undergraduates here in this case as well and tell them about that career path, how they got into it and what it's like day to day. And our current students are all connected to a LinkedIn network to our graduates also. So to conclude, what can you expect from the Human Health and Disease Program? We believe that it's an exciting, interesting and practically relevant program of study in terms of looking at the structure and function of the human body. You will gain a deep and wide ranging knowledge in biomedical sciences, and that's building that level of complexity of understanding from molecules and cells to tissue, organs and systems level of understanding. But it's that key skill set that you would develop also in terms of your writing skills, your presentation skills, uh, critical analysis um, and a research background and research methods, technique and data analysis. If you're interested in the program, further details can be obtained and consulted on the Trinity website. And if you require additional information, please contact our course administration at the HHDBSC at TCD email address. I thank you for watching um, my presentation. I look forward to hopefully seeing you in the Human Health and Disease BSC program. Thank you.